Hi everybody, it's Michelle and I am back with my eight month postpartum weight loss update. Max will be eight months on Saturday, on June 15th, and I've actually tried filming this video like two or three times, and I went to upload it last night, and YouTube would not let it upload. It would not let me take it from the private setting to the public setting, so here I am filming it again. Just wanted to, yeah, quickly share that with you guys. I will share with you guys at the very end of this video my current weight and what I have lost since I last did my video. I will post my uh, seven month postpartum update right here for you guys so you guys can see where I was a month ago. I am trying to hurry up and film this. We're going to the splash pad again today, so I'm like in my swimming suit and stuff. I just wanted to update you and guys, let you guys know what I have been doing. I have been using two apps on my iPhone, MyFitnessPal and Strava. And my fitness pal is basically like a calorie counter. If you guys watch my friend Nicole here on YouTube, Mommy Tips by Cole, I'll have her channel linked down below. She loves my fitness pal and she uses it religiously. And I have used it for about a month now, and it's so amazing. You just plug in your weight, what you want to weigh, and how many pounds a week you want to lose. And then it tells you, okay, this is how many calories you can have a day. And then you also put in, you know, if you exercise, so that tells you how many calories you burn and all of that. So I'm allowed to have 1,330 calories a day. And obviously I'm not too crazy about the exact number because I'm nursing, so I need a little bit more. But I've been using it every single day for about 35 days and it has been so incredible to keep me accountable. I try not to be too obsessed with like the exact calories and that sort of thing, but it's always fun when I exercise and I can plug it in and see, oh, I just went running, I just burned 500 calories, I can have 500 more calories today. It just is a really good motivator. And you also have friends on there so that you can like help motivate each other and you can see each other's progress. It's such an incredible app. And Strava is the exact same way with running and cycling and all of that, you can see what your friends are doing, what their pace is, and motivate each other. So those two apps have been helping me. Now the thing that has been hard for me over the past couple of weeks is my right knee has been killing me. And I have a 5K that I'm running this Saturday, and I will be vlogging that, so stay tuned next week. I'll have the vlog up for you guys. But I'm running it with a few of my friends, and I've been training really hard. But a couple weeks ago, my right knee started giving me trouble, so I have like a knee brace on it right now, so that's not very fun. But I've just been resting it the past week, and it's been helping a lot, so hopefully I'll be ready for race day. I'm not gonna go crazy. If it's gonna injure me, then I will slow down, but if it feels good, then I'm gonna keep running my hardest. But training for my 5K has been amazing. I have been running so much, and I feel like it's been helping, but also, with my weight loss, I have been doing cross training. So I have been swimming and riding my bike because I signed up for a triathlon in August and it's really cool. It's called a triathlon mom. So it's all women and I'm really excited. So it's just great to cross train anyway because you don't want to do the exact same exercise over and over. And I love swimming. Swimming is like my absolute favorite thing in the world to do and that's really good for my knees because it doesn't put any weight or pressure on them. And swimming is just great and really fun. I love going to the pool and swimming laps. When I was in Saudi Arabia, growing up we didn't really have that much to do so we swam all day long every day so swimming is something I'm not that worried about for my triathlon but so I've been doing those three things running keeping cat or four things I have been running keeping track of my calories swimming and biking Willie's back to playing with his toys like having them violently fight so it's kind of funny okay so now for what I currently weigh when I weighed in a month ago for you guys I was at 135.8 and if you remember my goal is to be 125 and I'm not necessarily at the point now where I care so much about the numbers because I can wear all my clothes again I feel great it's just about how I feel but it's fun to see the numbers come down as well but I am currently 129.2 pounds so I lost over six pounds since my last video and I have about four pounds to go before I get to 125 which is my weight that I was before I had baby max so if you guys have any comments please comment down below and if you like these kind of videos please thumbs up as well so I can continue updating you guys I just wanted to let you guys know that these videos are are to help motivate you and inspire you. I'm not trying to brag about my weight loss or anything like that. I just really want you to know that if you put your mind to something, you can do it. I have two children and I never thought it was possible to be able to work out a lot or anything like that and get back to my weight because I gained about, you know, I've lost already like 60 pounds, but I never thought I could lose all of it with two. So if I can do it, 
anybody can do it. You just definitely have to be motivated and to watch what you eat and take time to exercise. It's really important for your mind, your body, and your soul. So comment down below and let me know what I can do to lose the last couple of pounds here. I know that's usually like the hardest to lose the last five pounds or 10 pounds is what they usually say. Also, if you have any questions about anything that I've been doing, don't hesitate to comment down below as well. And thanks so much for watching, you guys. I'm also gonna be doing a hashtag. I've been doing baby to 5K hashtag, and now that I'm doing a triathlon, I'm gonna be doing baby to try. So those two will be hashtags that you guys can follow me on my little adventure to my triathlon in August. So thanks so much for watching, you guys, and we'll talk to you all later. Bye.